I'm going to get this right out into the open, but tactical bags suck. And this is what I'm going to do about it. So that intro was a little bit of a hot take, but honestly, I've had this tactical bag for three or four years, and I've never been really pleased with it. <laughs> um, it does have, uh, you know, some nice features in that it holds a generous amount of equipment. Uh, it's reasonably padded, so it keeps your equipment uh, pro uh, somewhat protected. Uh, but the thing I don't like about this particular bag is it's a sling bag. And while sling bags seem like a good idea at the time, until you actually put one on and walk any distance with it, you'll realize that um, these slings are nothing but garbage, especially uh, when you put uh, more than a few pounds worth of amateur radio gear into this bag. So I've been using this bag, you know, and it's uh, basically it just sits in my car and um, I grab the top strap and it goes from uh, 50 feet from the car to the picnic table. I do my thing, uh, my, my parks on the air activation, everything goes back into the bag and back into the car. Uh, if I ever wanted to walk, you know, more than any distance from car to picnic table, you know, say if I wanted to hike into a spot or anything like that, this bag is just like totally unworkable. So I've been looking for a better solution. And I think the last time I did a, um, a gear a video about a year or so ago, you know, somebody rec um, recommended a, a brand of um, backpacks that I should look into. And uh, the one they recommended was the Osprey uh, Talon bag. And I think actually they said the uh, 22 liter bag is the one you want. 22 liters is a big bag. And I opted for the little bit smaller Osprey 11 bag. Uh, this is an 11 liter uh, day pack. It has about the same storage capacity as this um, abominable sling bag. Uh, it's got a couple nice features that I I enjoy over the sling bag. Um, most notably, it's this um, elastic uh, webbing on the outside. I think I like that, it's nice. It's got water bottle pockets on the side, uh, which is a nice feature. Um, it's a true backpack. <laughs> so it has um, honest to goodness straps. It has uh, a hip belt that is actually uh, workable. It has a nice um, sternum strap, which I can't find right at the moment. Um, here it is down here. Uh, it has a nice uh, sternum strap. So it, in essence, is a very comfortable day, day pack. In fact, I've worn this pack to uh, Ham, Dayton Hamvention uh, last spring. Two days so walking around all day long and um, Definitely a comfortable bag. I would, you know, if you're looking for a day pack, um, in that regards, uh, I would go with that. A nice, you know, it's got some uh, good firm support there and it's got a good venting system. So if, um, you know, your back doesn't sweat. So, you know, if you wanted to hike a quarter mile, half mile, 10 miles in to a spot, you could wear a bag like this and be uh, really, really happy. So uh, with that said, you know, Let's see what it looks like when I move the contents of my sling bag into uh, my new um, Osprey uh, Talon 11 liter uh, day pack. First off, we'll just kind of pull out what's inside the main pocket and that would be my transceiver uh, Yesu uh, FT891. Uh, HF transceiver. I keep this in a, a padded sleeve. This is a, a foam padded uh, wrap that's made by Domkey. They produce uh, a line of bags and um, equipment cases for the uh, photographic industry and I love this a lot. Uh, this is a little pigtail RG45 on both ends. It slips behind the uh, removable head on the 891 so I can attach my hand mic. I can attach my uh, headset onto that, you know, without having to remove the head to make those those switches. I also keep a notebook. Uh, this is just a steno pad, and then finally a uh, tuner in my pack. Um, 
Don't always need the tuner, but if I'm running a non-resonant antenna, I'll use my LDG Z11, um, Z11 Pro 2 um, automatic tuner for my non-resonant antenna needs. And finally, we got this, um, my, my little handheld uh, Rig Expert stick meter. So let's get these all into the pack. Um, you know, this, first off, when you start putting stuff in here, you'll notice that the pack is a lot longer than the sling bag. And so it just kind of fits the back, you know, a little bit nicer, a little bit easier. Everything just sort of slides into place. There is a pocket on the top. This is a mesh pocket, and uh, you can put small items in there. Um, great place to stick uh, your little meter uh, so that it doesn't uh, get lost or something like that. Uh, finally, I usually carry a pair of uh, compact headphones. I don't always use these, but sometimes if I um, don't have my, if I forget my headset or if I don't have my headset with me, uh, these are a really handy thing to have just in case. There's a hidden pocket on the top of the pack. We'll just slip that uh, right in there. So, you know, heavier stuff at the bottom, most fragile stuff at the top. Um, there's plenty of room in this pack. I could, I could very easily, you know, I've, I, I've taken this out uh, with my QRP radio. Uh, the um, F, uh, Yesu FD817 and foregone the um, tuner um, and just a small slim battery, the radio, you know, tons of space and all and all and also the antennas. In fact, there's enough space up top here. I can I can uh, put some antennas in some of my, you know, uh, a QRP antenna right on the top of the right on the top there. I'd, I'd still have the space for that. Now, um, I've got accessories in the top of the sling bag in these two outside pockets. So what am I gonna do about those? Uh, because I'm not gonna really wanna stick those. There's not really outside pockets that are big enough for the accessories. So I purchased one of these. Actually, I got a few of these. Uh, these are just uh, canvas, um, I don't know what you wanna call them, bank bags. <laughs> oh, back in the olden days when we'd make cash deposits, you know, um, you'd wanna, you know, you'd, you'd throw them into the old, the old bank bag. Um, this has got a gusseted bottom, so it holds a little bit more gear, but inside my bag there, I can stick all of my other accessories that I keep in my front pocket, including two power cables. Um, I keep two sets, of, I keep a, spare, a, a main power cable and a spare power cable with me in case I have a malfunction. I have an extra uh, cable in that regard, so I'll just slip those in there. My hand mic. Um, my hand mic was disconnected uh, from the radio, so I can, uh, I'll just put it into my bag there. I have a, one, I have a jumper uh, for the, to, to attach the tuner to the uh, transceiver. I also have more jumpers in my antenna kit, so don't think this is the only one I have. I do have spare jumpers in my antenna kit. And finally, my digital interface. This is my uh, Digirig uh, mobile interface with the cables necessary uh, for the uh, the Yesu. We'll stick those uh, right in there. Uh, a couple other odds and ends I keep in the top. Little notebook, uh, some fuses. Uh, this is a little GPS module. Uh, if I need to reset the a time on my uh, laptop computer and I don't, I can't get a um, you know, uh, internet connection, a Wi-Fi connection, or something like that. I can use this GPS module to set the time for the digital modes, and of course, a pen. You'll need a need a pen, and that is about it. Well, and that all kind of zips up in there, keeps that all nice and um, handy. We can keep those. Uh, load that up in our top pocket and there we go uh, everything is in the case um, fits nicely uh, well you know this pack is is well formed well contoured I've like I said I, I've, I've worn it for hours at a time 
at, at Hemvention, and I'm, I'm pleased uh, with that. It fits on me. You know, and my experiences with packs might be my own, my own individual uh, thing. And, um, you know, the, the reason why there's so many backpacks on the market is because there's so many different, you know, body types and um, needs, you know, for, for individuals. So don't think that this is the perfect bag for everything. You know, this is a, a, a good bag for me, a better bag <laughs> for me. And I really like how that bag works. If I'm carrying a minimal kit, like I would with my um, uh, FT891 or FT817, or if I'm gonna uh, need something a little bit bigger that I wanna carry to the, um, out to, to the, uh, um, feel, you know, the picnic table with my FT891. Uh, they got, you know, if I'm, if I'm bicycling, it does have a little helmet, um, connector on there so you know this is for um to, for stowing a bicycle helmet if you are you know using your bicycle and kind of a kind of a really cool idea um what i like about this is this um webbing this elastic is i can throw my faraday cloth on here if i'm using the vertical antenna everything felt everything else um, pretty much fits inside the pack so i'm good to go so that's my new pack the osprey um talon 11 liter pack and uh, my old pack, I'll probably use that for storage or something like that. But um, we're going to make the transition over to uh, this pack and um, make, it, make it a lot easier for us to do those a uh, little bit more backcountry remote parks on the air activations. So do you have a favorite pack? Uh, what do you like to see in... Um, in a in a pack for a for a portable for a portable uh, kit. Let me know in the comments down below. I'd like to hear your feelings. So with that, I'm Michael KB9 VBR. You have a great day in '73.